the charity that I went to was literally across the road. So this is historic for me, really. It really is, actually. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for Rudimentals, Amir Amor. I grew up here, I went to school here, went to Haverstock across the road. I went to Tribal Tree, which is a studio that was at number 66, Chalk Farm Road. That one, as some of you went there as well, I can see some faces. That was where I got started on my journey in music and in life in general. I was born in Iran. Okay. And yeah, we had, I was born in 1985. You do the maths in the middle of something called the War of the Cities, which was between Iraq and Iran. It was quite a heavy war. And we immigrated here when I was um, eight years old. My thing is to, to always remain, um, to take myself back to a 14 year old Amir and just remember that this is his dream. And even my studio at home, I moved it around a couple years ago to make it more like it's my bedroom when I was a teenager or when I was young. Because it sort of like just takes me back to that play attitude where it's not work, it's play. So when we started, it was less of an era of independence. You were quite reliant and dependent on labels, especially if you need the money. So. One thing I wish someone told me, I guess, would be to hold out a little bit and not jump into something that's quite exciting. Just think about your value for a moment, what you're providing. You are the value. Your creativity is the value. Those people in the businesses, in the labels, in the bigger labels especially, may make you feel like you need them, but you don't need them, man. <laughs> they need you. You've got to catch yourself out and realize that creativity doesn't belong to you. Inspiration doesn't belong to you. It's something that happens if you get rid of as much friction as possible. That's the whole point. The whole point is to try and get rid of as much ego, as much friction as possible when you're in that creative process and let it flow, let it flow through you. Who knows where it comes from? It comes from somewhere, but if you're trying, you know, if you're trying to make a hit, if you're um, making it all about yourself, then it's, I would say more often than not, you're not going to be as good as you can be. What do you want young, hungry entrepreneurs, freelancers, music creatives to take away from tonight? One thing. <laughs> um, learn to listen to your intuition. Learn to listen to it, because that's always right. It's always right, man. It's never been wrong. It only gets wrong when you layer it with logic and you start to overthink things and you start to try to analyze, like, how am I going to fit into this? How does my ego fit here? It's not really about that. Your intuition is always right. And it's that first little subtle voice that you hear that you easily forget half a second later. So learn to listen to that.